Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing well today. Hope you've had a great week. So tonight's video is going to be about DaVinci Resolve on Linux Mint 22. So DaVinci Resolve is a video editing software that I use and a whole bunch of people use. It's probably one of the premier editing softwares that you can use. The version that I use is free which is another thing that I really like. And, uh, but in Linux, it's a totally different animal than it is on the Mac and, and Windows. Uh, on those, you just download the installer, hit go, and you're ready uh, for the most part. Uh, stability issues and this, that, and the other might, might plague you, but uh, if you have good hardware, you're good. In Linux, depending on which distro you're using, um, you could have installer issues, missing packages, missing dependencies, and or stability issues. Now in Linux Mint on this machine, this is my main machine. I uninstalled it. The installer that I used before is a little tough. I mean, you have to be in a terminal quite a bit, and uh, you have to get everything just right. Get it going. Well, today I was on YouTube, and I found a, a channel that the guy is like me he went from windows to linux and was having trouble so he wrote a script on installing davinci resolve and it does it for you as long as you have three or four things done ahead of time so i'm going to walk you through that his script is not publicized it's on the linux minute forums and on his channel but i think a lot more people should know about it and it would make running davinci resolve a whole lot easier uh, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug his channel and, and his forum post and, and go out and subscribe to his channel. Uh, he's done a great job with this. So let's drop down to my desktop and we'll walk through the whole install and show you how to do it. Okay, here we are on my Linux Mint 22 desktop. You guys have seen it before in videos. So what we need to do, we need to go to... We have to download DaVinci Resolve first. So right here on the blackmagicdesign.com support page, we're gonna go right here to DaVinci Resolve and Fusion Software. And if we scroll down a little bit, we see under the latest downloads, 19.1.3, we see it for Mac, Windows, Windows ARM, and Linux. So if we click Linux, it takes us to the registration download page. So what you do, you fill out your information, the ones with the asterisks, and uh, tell them how you're going to use it and what features they should add. Uh, you don't really have to do that, but I do. Uh, and then you hit register and download. So I've already done that. Okay, so here we are in my downloads folder. You see it right there, so we'll put it right here. We're going to go back up to the Linux Mint forms, and I suggest to uh, register and log in. And there's a lot of really smart people on here. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to the automated install DaVinci Resolve 19 on Mint 22. So I'm going to take it over here to the left side of the page. Drop that down. And... What it says, first off, this script assumes that your system is up to date. It assumes that you have the correct drivers for your graphics card. And I suggest having an NVIDIA card. I don't know if it works as well with uh, an AMD card, but it works really good with an NVIDIA. The script assumes you have a download zip version of DaVinci Resolve. It assumes that the downloaded zip file is in your user's download folder. And make sure you do not have more than one downloaded version inside the folder at the same time. And the script name is PDRI, which stands for Post Download Resolve Install. So where to create it? We're going to open up the terminal and we're going to create it in the terminal. So there we are. We're in the terminal. I hope you can see that. So first off, we need to select the first line of code. We're going to change the directory to the downloads. Copy and paste. Okay, we're in the downloads. We're going to open up the nano 
terminal text editor, I guess you could call it. Put in my super secret password. Okay, now we have nano opened up in the terminal. Now if you read the instructions, we got to scroll down to the bottom of this post right here to this block and this is the code for the script and we'll select all and copy we're going to go right back up to where we were we're going to go to the terminal right click and paste and as you see he's got his comments he's got the script itself and all we're going to do is control o the file name to write is pdri.sh and sh means it is a script we're going to hit enter it wrote 34 lines we're going to do control x and that writes us out all right next one we're going to chmod that file and that gives it permissions to run as an executable enter and now we're going to run the script and install resolve. So we're going to right click and paste and it moves us to the downloads and then runs the script. We're going to hit enter. It's going to archive and then inflate the installer and that just means it's getting ready to run it. And if everything's okay, it should pop up the applet. And there it is. Put it down a little bit. So there's the applet. Goes through that. We're going to agree to the terms and conditions. We're going to hit next. I'm going to show the detailed log. And we're going to start the install. And this is real time. and no errors and it's finished done okay and just to show you this is the machine that i use all the time Linux mint 22 um this is a i5 8400 six core processor it has a gtx 1080 32 gigs of ram and an nvme drive it's not a barn burner it's just a good computer and that's what we got so now we will go down here and we should be able to go to the start menu and there's davinci resolve should be 1913 and I do have it hooked up to my network, and I do have a video on showing you how to run uh, a network install repository. But um, there it is. Let's see where you go. About DaVinci Resolve 1913 Build 7. It did pick up my GPU. There's my 10, GTX 1080. Um, works great. It is a piece of software I enjoy using. So there you go. So there you go. DaVinci Resolve took me, what, three minutes? So fastest install and cleanest install that I've ever done. Um, Props to the guy, I think his name is Charles. Uh, links to his channel and the forum post will be in the description. I'm telling you, that's cool. When you can uh, simplify things, I write scripts at work in PowerShell all the time just to simplify my life. And uh, he's really, I never thought to do it here for some reason, but um, that is just, he's a rock star. That's, that's cool stuff. So anyway, go out there and subscribe to his channel. Showing a little love out there. 
But anyway, hope y'all get something out of this. If you did, hit that like button, hit that subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified. And uh, hope y'all are having a great week. And I hope you have a great weekend. And that's it for me today. So, like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.